Hi everyone and welcome to Know Your PC. I'm Malou. And I'm Bob. And this right here, give it some love Bob. Absolutely, this is the HP TouchSmart PC. This is the IQ 500 series, boom. And, and it's an all-in-one package. It's a fully functional PC mm -hmm. with the HD monitor. You can see that's nice. Yep. Wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse. And now something else. The touch screen. Yes. The touch screen. Very cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the HP Touch Smart homepage. Okay. I will show you how touch works. All right. I'm going to touch you. Please do. Not really. We're going to touch, touch the screen. Be, I get it. <laughs> but you're going to touch me emotionally. Exactly. Okay. And then I'm also going to show you a little bit about music and photos. Okay. And then have a lot more fun with music and photos in future segments. That's right. Okay. You're excited because you've never touched I've, yet. I know. I, I want to use my finger as the mouse. All right. So let's start with the home page. And just to let you guys know, this I'm starting along with you guys as well. This is my first time touching it, so uh, bear with me and uh, know that it's going to be a lot of fun while we're doing it. This really is your first time because it during really rehearsals is. you haven't touched it at all. I was not allowed. They said, don't touch <laughs> yeah. it. So. All all right, let's put it into action. Okay. okay, so when you turn your screen on, All right. right here, what you see is the Windows desktop. Yeah. Okay, so on the Windows desktop, you'll mm -hmm. see the little house that says HP Touch Smart in the upper left corner. Okay. That's and I'm going to double touch. However, you can also launch this program here by this little right hand corner here. You see that house? Yeah. You that... can instantly launch that application by touching that. Okay, well, can I, can I touch it? Go for it. I can touch it now. Okay. okay. Here we go. There you go. Okay. All right, so instead of the mouse, you know, you can also use the mouse, but now your finger takes the place of the mouse. Fingers the mouse, fingers the mouse. All right, so what you're looking at is the home page, and these squares here, the large squares, are called tiles. Okay. So we have large tiles, mm -hmm. and we have smaller tiles. Okay. Okay, so the tiles are basically shortcuts to applications, right. websites, RSS feeds, music, and photos. Okay. Maybe these are things up here in the larger section that you want to use every day. Like you okay. said, your email. I love email. I love checking out videos, stuff like that. So I would keep that kind of stuff up here. Right. So okay. the bottom row does the exact same thing. They're just smaller tiles. And it looks like this thing was moving a second ago. If I have websites, like, can I see video or is it refreshed or anything like that in these bigger tiles? Yes, you're very good there. That's live content. So okay. whatever is in these squares right here, the tiles, it's live. So you can see your email if something comes in. Maybe okay. there's a website, something's moving. Maybe it's a clock. I love right? clocks. Okay. okay. <laughs> you want to know what time it is. Yes. I'm going to show you how to scroll and flip right now. Okay. Okay. So with the tiles here, to scroll, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to touch the screen mm -hmm. and slowly scroll to the left and then lift. Oh. Okay, okay. So I'm keeping my finger on the display here. Okay. And that's scrolling. Okay. Time for you to go to work. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Very nice. nice. You see that? Now you see. Easy. So scrolling is for if you want to browse easily. Let's say if you want to look at things. Yeah, it'd be more slowly. exact or something like that. So yeah, okay. Right. Got now it. flipping would be if you want to scroll through them faster. So okay. flipping would be the same sort of thing, but you go faster. So you touch the screen. Oh, nice. Release like that. Okay. Like and I'm and flipping through a magazine. Just yes. Brrr. You All can right. totally flip through a book like that, right? Okay. Okay, you try it. All right, let me so try. So you're touching. All right. Boom, nice. I'm like, la 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 la. You are flipping. Through my thing. You la, are la, flipping la. the large tiles. You can awesome. also do that to the bottom tiles. Yeah, let me try that. See that? Oh, see, there's a lot more down here, so I'm certainly going to want to go faster down these. The other thing that you can do is you can resize the upper row of tiles here. Okay. If you want them bigger. I'm American. I like big things. <laughs> okay. Okay. Two fingers for SUVs, this. All right. Whatever. So you touch the screen like this with both fingers, and you keep both fingers on, and you bring it out like Boom. that. You slide oh. out. Nice. You okay. can also slide in to resize to make it smaller. So why don't you try to? Okay, make, it make it smaller. Boom. Wow, you're good. Yeah. So you're really good at the touch. Now I want you to know okay. that the sensors are in the upper corners right over here. Okay. And so what happens is as soon as your finger gets close to the screen, it, re it already responds. Huh. Oh, so the, the actual glass is not sensitive. There, the, there's sensors in these little sides here. Right. And for okay. me, you know, my nail seems to work just fine. Be careful if you have like bracelets, all your jewelry, oh, right. sleeves, knuckles. A get bird in flies way. in. <laughs> Hits the glass. Okay. Yeah, you don't want that. All right, good. It's awkward. Close your windows. <laughs> all right. So you scrolled, you flipped. Now we're going to show you how to drag and drop. Okay. Okay. So if you want to, let's say, move things around in the upper tile section or the lower tile section, mm -hmm. let's say that I want help and support in the large tile section. I know you. You need in a lot the of upper help row. and a lot of support. Okay. We're here okay. for that. <laughs> so you're going to touch help and support. Keep your finger on it. Okay. Lift until you see the blue line. Oh, okay. There's the blue line. And release. Boom. And there it is. You can also move things out of order and drag and drop. Mm -hmm. So if you want it to be on this side, help and support, I'm going to touch it. Okay. I'm going to lift. And see the blue line? Yeah. Release. Boom. Okay, now you try it. Okay, so I love solitaire and I play it a lot, so I want to put it up in the top. I just drag it, put it in the blue line. Boom. So that, that way I can just personalize my top and bottom bars. 
with my tiles. Okay, well there you have it. So now you've scrolled, you've flipped, you've, you flipped. I promise you guys, dragging. I haven't touched this before. So <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're gonna be able to learn pretty easily. Okay, let's talk about music and photos right now. Okay. So in the upper large tiles, quick mm -hmm. links to your music and photos. You want to uh, scroll, and let's see if we could find music. Mm -hmm. There it is. So I'm gonna tap it once. Okay. And as you can see, one tap is all you need. Mm -hmm. Now here we have the music. Oh, that looks nice. You, you can see all the albums this and everything is, like yes, that? Yes, this is where you can view and play your music. So you can see it's categorized nicely. We have albums. Okay. We have artists. Oh, okay. All in alphabetical order. And then okay. again, you can scroll through all your oh, music. Nice. Isn't that nice? Go ahead and touch genre. Genre. Nope. Try it again. Doesn't like my pick. There we go. Oh, okay. You got the touch. And then you see we have playlist over there on the right side. Playlist. You touch playlist. You see all your playlists. We don't have one yet, so maybe I should make one for you. We're going to make one in a future segment. Okay, great. That's a lot of fun. You make a CD for me and I'll make one for you. Deal. Okay. More I amp. like that. Okay. Now, I noticed there's a lot of songs on here. Did the uh, PC come with that? Or? I loaded all these songs. Okay. In another future segment, we will show you how to load all your okay. own songs and manage your playlists. Okay, great. Okay, so to play a song, all you okay. have to do is touch the song. Okay. Play one song. So, Go ahead and pick one. Palms above us. Let's do this. All right. All right. A, oh, you touch the volume control. Touch the volume control. Volume what? control. What? On the keyboard. I can't hear you because the volume's up. You can turn it down on the right side of the screen, too. You <laughs> can't upstage the touch mark. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Come on now. <laughs> It's all about this procedure. I'm sorry, See I'm that? Sorry. And if I want to pause it, how do I do that? You just did. Oh, I, well, I muted it. There's a little control bar on the upper oh, okay. right hand corner, and then you just press stop yeah. like that. I, you touch okay. it. Okay, good. And it's all done. Whew. All right. You got me all sweaty there with your dancing. Well, I just, you know, I cabbage patch with the rest of you. you know what Fancy. Saying? Okay, right. so right here in the bottom right corner, uh huh. You see that album cover? Yes. If you tap that, Tapping, touch it. Boom. You'll see all of them in this fan view right oh, here. I like that. You can flip and scroll through that okay. by just, oh. Oh, after, oh excuse those me, dueling after you. fingers. After, after, you, after, you, after you. you. And whatever ends up in the center here uh -huh. is displayed right here. Oh, awesome. Look There's all the songs from that. Isn't that great. nice? That's great. Okay, so if you want to go back to normal view, back okay. to that home page, in the bottom corner right there, there's a little button that says back to normal view. If you touch that, perfect. Takes you back to here. Now we want to go back to the home page, a little house okay. on the upper left corner. House go on ahead. the prairie, let's do this. Take me home. Up. Take me home, I said. <laughs> I'm working with it. All right, photos. Why don't you touch photos right okay. there? It's one touch. You see all the photos? Once again, I loaded all these photos. Okay. Organized nicely. All right. Perfect. We like organization. We have them in folders. All right. All my photos in folders. Okay, boom. You also have it here with all of the photos. Oh, oh there they are, boom. Why don't you try to scroll okay. through some of those photos? You can see, right. isn't that great? So let's say if you want to pull one of the photos up, what would you do? Uh, I just. Click it. Exactly. You tap onto it, and there you have the photo. I wanted to see that. The same thing here with the fan view. Okay. Go ahead and tap that. All right. There we go. Okay. See that? Scroll and flip. Isn't that nice? That's really nice. Okay, so you're going to go back to normal view. Back to normal. So all these photos I loaded myself. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so it, oh, these aren't going to come preloaded or anything like that? No, okay. but what we will do is show you in a future segment how to load all your photos okay. and manage and edit. It's a lot of fun. All right, sweet. Okay, the fun thing that I want to do here now is end on the play slideshow, because you know how pretty this screen is. If yeah. you touch that, you uh, can see all your photos in a nice little slideshow. HD. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely. That's very nice. Okay, so now you know how to use the touch screen. All right. You learn how to scroll, flip, look at your music and your photos. You've been touched. It's my new best friend. <laughs> if you guys have any more questions, please go to hp.com slash go slash touchsmart. And I'm Bob. And I'm Alou, and we will see you next time. Thanks, Thanks. for watching. Thank you.